Hello, my delicious co-creators. Lilu here. I'm in Tokyo, in Japan, actually in the Doctor's Emoto office. Uh, you probably have heard of Doctor's Emoto's work on the water and the memory of water. Unfortunately, Doctor Emoto passed away last October, seventeenth, on the seventeenth. Yeah. October seventeenth. 2014, and uh, I had the privilege to interview Dr. Imoto several times, but now I'm interviewing Dr. Nimoto, who is the chief researcher here. Uh, so I'm very, um, I'm honored to meet you in person and uh, be here in Japan <laughs> and get to uh, understand a little bit more. I'm interested to know, you know, what happened with the Dr. Imoto, because I think still some people not, are not even aware that he passed. It was pretty sudden, but also to know where this research is going and to talk also about some controversies that might be around his work. So I think it's important to address all of that. Tell us first a little bit about your background and how long have you been working here for? Uh -huh. Okay, uh, my name is uh, Yasuki Nemoto, and I started uh, to work for Dr. Emoto in January uh, year 2002, and uh, since then, uh, about 13 years, uh, I have been working for Dr. Emoto. And actually, the, uh, my job here is uh, uh, one of them. My one of my jobs are. Uh, uh, is uh, international secretary to Dr. Emoto. And so uh, sometimes I have been with him for his uh, lecture tour in uh, foreign countries. And also the another aspect is uh, uh, because I have a, a scientific background and actually I'm a doctor of science. Uh, and so I'm... What's your specialty? Oh, actually biology. Uh, I got a PhD from uh, University of Tokyo uh, in the area of... Uh, uh, plant cellular um, biology. And so uh, I have the only one right now uh, who has a uh, scientific background in Dr. Emoto's uh, companies. And so I'm uh, in charge, kind of in charge of the scientific aspect of Dr. Emoto's work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Since he passed away, is it still uh, continuing? The research has been, uh, what has been happening? Yeah, uh, after he passed away, actually, the, we uh, regularly we are taking water crystal photographs uh, because uh, many people are requesting us to take uh, uh, water crystal photographs uh, about their own waters. And But uh, uh, research is uh, actually the, uh, we need a budget to do new research. And so far, we just continue our uh, usual uh, water crystal technology, which means uh, we just taking a water crystal photograph uh, following the request from you know, other people. Okay. Yeah. It, 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 and, and, and some people say, I mean, we, we can hear on the internet that some of those, those pictures, like how, how are they selected? Do they all form the same crystal? Because the, the water, can you explain the process again, first of all, of, of this research and how, how, how he found out that there's some certain pattern depending on if, it's, if the water is exposed to, to gratitude or to love or to hate or something like that? Yeah. yeah, actually, the, uh, I started my uh, work with Dr. Emoto since year 2002. And actually, the, the first book, what, uh, Message from Water, was published in 1999. And it was before I joined uh, Dr. Emoto's laboratory. But uh, um, you know, uh, there is some criticism that uh, uh, um, Dr. Emoto may have chosen uh, some, you know, uh, several photographs uh, according to his intention. But uh, I would say Dr. Emoto was uh, not a scientist, and he's a man of intuition, and he's saying in this way also by himself. And uh, even he's saying that the message from water is not a science, it's a art, or uh, he said uh, it's a fantasy. And I agree with this. And uh, uh, the message from water or even the, our water crystal technology is not yet a science, I would say. It's not yet what? Not yet a science. 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 Okay. And uh, because actually the um, last year, uh, uh, October, uh, just before Dr. Emoto passed away, uh, there was a conference, water conference in Bulgaria. And uh, originally, Dr. Emoto was invited to this conference uh, as one of the keynote speakers. But uh, he, got, uh, he went to hospital. And so I went, I went there and I gave a speech there. And uh, in my uh, presentation at the water conference, 
I gave uh, it a very preliminary uh, result, but uh, I showed uh, uh, some experiment in which I uh, showed the people all the photographs from uh, one condition. I mean, usually when you see the book, like a message from water, you only see just one photograph from one condition. Like uh, this uh, mm -hmm. water crystal photograph is, uh, you know, we show the label love and gratitude, mm -hmm. but you usually mm, see only one photograph. Mm -hmm. So there could be a criticism. Mm -hmm. But uh, last year in my presentation at the water uh, conference, I showed all the photographs, mm -hmm. like uh, uh, before treatment and after treatment, mm -hmm. I showed all the 50 water crystal photographs before and after, and uh, I did uh, some uh, statistical um, analysis. Mm -hmm. It's still uh, preliminary, I would say, but uh, uh, even the preliminary, there was uh, a difference between before and after. And it was actually the, I put uh, some um, small device which contained uh, crystal, some special crystal, and I put uh, this small uh, like a pen, pendulum or pendant into the water. And uh, I checked the water crystal photographs before I put uh, this pendulum and after I put the pendulum. So the water is the same, you know, same pure water, but uh, before this treatment and after this treatment. And uh, I took, uh, I uh, observed 50 all the photographs from before and after. And uh, I put uh, all the photographs on the slide. And uh, it's very pre preliminary, but uh, I classified um, those 50 water crystal photographs uh, like into six different uh, groups, mm -hmm. like most beautiful and uh, ugly one. And then uh, I calculated the average score. Like uh, you know, if it's uh, very beautiful, maybe I can put the score like 100. <coughs> and what makes it a beautiful crystal? Uh, like a six-sided and uh, hexagonal, like, like this, or uh, you know, like this. Mm -hmm. Uh, in this case, it's a very beautiful water crystal, mm -hmm. like this, you know, hexagonal and uh, uh, very harmonious, beautiful water crystal. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, generally speaking, uh, <clears throat> maybe the eighty percent, or, or uh, you know, uh, we could see no beautiful crystal at all. Mm -hmm. Generally speaking, even if you uh, analyze the most beautiful water, I mean most good water, best water, but uh, you still uh, see no crystal at all <coughs> in some of the you know uh, water crystals. Yeah. And we usually check uh, 50 uh, water crystals from one water sample. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's a kind of statistical uh, thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, even in this situation, in my experiment, uh, before the treatment, uh, and I compared the average score, you know, like a uh, average score of one class, you know, 50 people there. And uh, we can calculate that the average score of English, you know, in this class, class A and class B, you know, then you can compare the average scores. In this way, I compared the before treatment and after treatment, mm -hmm. and it was a difference. Mm -hmm. You know, <clears throat> after the treatment, uh, there were more beautiful water crystals. Mm -hmm. So in this way, this is very uh, pr premature or preliminary experiments, but still uh, there is a possibility that uh, we can make this uh, water crystal technology as a science. Yes. But for this, you know, we need to do like a statistical ex uh, uh, analysis. Yeah. I mean, we need to repeat this experiment more and more, and maybe we need to introduce the blind experiment and so on. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think it's uh, uh, promising. Yes. And if uh, you um, give a very wonderful huddle, I mean vibration to the water, and I believe the water crystal will become more beautiful. Yeah. And this is one research. I, I made a presentation at the water uh, conference. And uh, another research is uh, uh, we are doing, I'm doing with uh, other colleague uh, researcher. Um, uh, where, where, from Japan? In Japan. Uh, his name is Takayuki Kokubo, and he's a, a researcher in the area of para uh, psychology. And uh, uh, our research is uh, because uh, he, no, he has a very nice connection with uh, many healers, many powerful healers in Japan. And, uh, you know, it's a double blind experiment. And uh, he asked uh, one of the powerful healers to send 
the chi energy or healing energy to the water bottle. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually, he, uh, it's a little complicated, but I, I will uh, put it simple. You know, um, here's one water bottle and another water bottle, the same water bottle, unopened. And uh, here I put uh, his or her healing energy into one of them. And uh, Mr. Kokubo uh, brought the two bottles to me. And he didn't tell me which bottle is which. Mm -hmm. You know, so for me, it's blind conditions. Mm -hmm. Then I analyzed, uh, I uh, froze the water. So that's how you do it. Yeah, you freeze yeah. it. Yes, freeze it. And do it the same way than Dr. Imoto yes, would? Yes, yes. Yeah. like uh, from one water sample, I checked 50 different water crystals. Mm -hmm. And then, <clears throat> you know, I, I don't know which is which. And then I uh, gave back the water crystal photographs mm -hmm. to Mr. Kokubo. And he asked uh, his students at the university, and uh, they, the, like uh, 50 students, or no, then they made a score about each water crystal photographs, uh, which means actually the, uh, the powerful healer, uh, her intention is to make uh, very beautiful hexagonal water crystals. And then uh, after I took the 50 water crystal photographs from this and from the other control water, and then uh, Mr. Kokubo asked his student to make a score mm -hmm. for each water crystal photographs. But the, the students uh, did not know which photographs are from which water. Mm -hmm. It's randomized. Mm -hmm. Then we calculated, we collected all the data and we calculated mm -hmm. the result. Mm -hmm. Then, um, you know, uh, Mr. Kokubo found a significant difference, which means uh, uh, the water which received the chi energy from the, this powerful healer showed very more beautiful or more hexagonal uh, water crystals, mm. which means that I didn't know which is which. Mm -hmm. And uh, you found uh, the same result. Same result yeah. means. Uh, was there a huge difference? Not a huge, but we could say it's a uh, statistically significant okay. difference. And so then, uh, based on this result, we could say that uh, uh, the powerful healer can change the water crystals mm -hmm. in, in a, like a, uh, to make more uh, hexagonal beautiful water crystals. But, it, but, but, the, but the difference between when there is a healer that does that or when we do that and send our love uh, towards water, I mean, there, there, is there a big difference there between us doing it as, we could say, ordinary oh. beings compared to a, a, a conscious healer that is really sending energy? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, actually, the, this uh, experiment that I explained is a very new one, latest experiment. But uh, several years ago, uh, Dean Radin, Dr. Dean Radin, yes. at the Noetic Science, you know. Um, yes, uh, the opportunity to meet him, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, he did a collaborative uh, experiment with us. And in that case, uh, actually, the, in Tokyo, there was a water uh, event in Tokyo. And Dr. Emoto led a water prayer with all the people there. I think it was uh, uh, almost 2,000 people in Tokyo, just lay persons. The, Dr. Emoto asked them to send their love and gratitude to the water bottle, which was placed at the Dean Radin's laboratory in Los Angeles, in California. Yes. Then, after that, you know, Dean Radin also prepared the one control um, water bottle, which did not receive the love and gratitude, which was placed in a different room. And uh, the you know, experimental bottle, which received the love and gratitude from the people in Tokyo. And the rating also compared the beauty mm -hmm. uh, from these two different conditions. Mm -hmm. And he asked the other uh, the people yeah. to, uh, to make a score for each photographs in a random you know, order, again, he found a significant difference, yeah. which means, uh, it's, which suggests, you know, that your love and gratitude energy can change the water molecule or uh, the, anyway, the, the state of water uh, so that uh, we could see more beautiful hexagonal water yeah. crystals yes. from uh, yeah. this water sample. Now, now that he, uh, Dr. Imoto has passed away, I guess you're you're in charge of the research. So there's some things that 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 are changing. This is what you're saying, or that that the more integrity will be put in place. Yeah, actually, the uh, right now my job, you know, actually, as I mentioned, that the last year uh, there was a conference in Bulgaria, yeah. and uh, 
the chairman of this conference uh, was uh, Professor Gerald Polak, and he's actually a professor at the uh, uh, University of Washington in Seattle, Washington. And uh, he's a very generous and open-minded and open-hearted uh, scientist. Uh, and uh, uh, I met him, of course, at the conference, and uh, it's very lucky that uh, um, Dr. Polak uh, has been evaluating, you know, Dr. Emoto's work highly. Mm -hmm. you know, he is respecting uh, Dr. Emoto's work. Yes. And so uh, even the, Dr. Polak is saying that uh, uh, based on his uh, hypothesis, which is actually the, his theory uh, about the fourth face of water. It's quite a new theory. And based on, on this theory, the Dr. Emoto's findings can be explained for the first time scientifically. Mm. This is Dr. Polak's comment. Yeah. It's very you know, nice to yeah. us. And because uh, uh, before, like uh, several years ago, uh, many, many scientists are uh, against the Dr. Emoto's yes. work, because uh, even they say water cannot have a memory. But uh, just recently, like in the past five years, uh, some scientists are thinking that the water has a memory. And uh, Dr. Polak is one of them. And also another uh, wonderful scientist is uh, um, Dr. Uh, Luc Montagnier, and he's from... Uh, I met, yes, yes, at UNESCO, yeah, yeah, yeah I met, I've interviewed wow. him. Oh, wonderful, yes, yes. wonderful. Uh, the UNESCO in Paris. Yes, yes I, I know, there was a... Professor Luc Montagnier. Yeah, yeah, uh, Montagnier, who, who got the Nobel Prize. Yes. Okay, that's the same person. Same person. Yes. Wonderful, yeah, yeah, because, uh, you know, the, I met him at the water conference also, and he's work, just a recent work, in the past maybe five or ten years, is uh, to uh, to prove that uh, water has a memory. And also because he's an expert in genetics or uh, DNA, you know. It's important to mention he had the Nobel Prize of Medicine. Yeah, sure. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> It's a big deal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. And it's uh, a little technically, I don't know, but anyway, uh, let's say uh, he found that, uh, uh, you know, that, can I explain? Here's a uh, glass of water, okay? In, here, glass of water. And he, he put the DNA in this water. You know, here's the DNA solution, okay? Uh, inside the, this water, okay. DNA molecules here. Mm -hmm. And he found that the uh, specific um, electron microwave, um, EM, you know, electromagnetic waves mm -hmm. is coming from this DNA. He found mm -hmm. this, you know, okay, this is a kind of step one. But then he put the another glass of water which contains no DNA, just water. He put uh, this bottle near to this original bottle contains DNA and which is emitting electromagnetic signals. And he, he, after 18 hours, he found that uh, this water started to emit the same electromagnetic waves somehow. It's very strange, you know, but anyway, he found this phenomena. But then, uh, after that, he found, this is just water, you know, materialistically speaking, just water, no DNA at all. But uh, um, he put this water into the, um, the human culture cells. You know, um, Petri dish, mm -hmm. we can um, grow the human cells, mm -hmm. you know, in uh, this environment, mm -hmm. in the Petri dish. Mm -hmm. And then he put uh, this water, which started to emit the special, specific electromagnetic signals. He put uh, this, just water into the cultured, you know, medium in, in this petri dish. Then after you know, several days, he found the uh, DNA, you know, the original DNA inside these human cells. Which means, uh, maybe a little difficult to uh, understand, but uh, this means the information of this original DNA can be transferred through electromagnetic waves mm -hmm. into the water. And uh, our cell, I mean the living system, uh, may have a capacity to re -material, materialize mm -hmm. or reconstruct the original DNA mm -hmm. as a material. So some people are saying this phenomenon is uh, DNA teleportation. Mm. 
and、uh, which means actually we usually think everything is a material,、mm-hmm. or even DNA or our cell is composed of many different materials.、Uh, in, in aspect, in a, in a sense, that's true, but、uh, also at the same time, every material can be th- thought like a combination of frequency、mm-hmm. or a combination of vibration, everything. You know,、mm-hmm. We can see the world as a combination or a mixture of vibrations,、mm-hmm. you know,、uh, the frequencies. Then,、uh, this, you know,、uh, my, in my interpretation, the Dr. Montagnier's、uh, experimental result is showing that、uh, here is the DNA as a material, but this material can give information、uh, via、uh, electromagnetic、uh, waves, and this wave can affect the water placed nearby. And in this Time, you know, at this moment, this is just maybe information. But、uh, we have a capacity to rematerialize the information into the matter, in this case, just DNA,、mm-hmm. with the same sequence you know, as the original one. This is amazing,、mm-hmm. really amazing result. So, Professor Montagnier did uh, uh, approve of, or did meet Dr. Emoto and they did work on some things together, or at least no, they compared no. notes. No, actually, the,、uh, it's a Separate, you know, but my interpretation is、uh, from his experiment,、uh, we could say that water can have a memory、mm-hmm. about、uh, even DNA. DNA is、uh, maybe one of the most、uh, complicated、uh, or complex、mm-hmm. molecules in this universe because you, DNA is our genetic material. And、uh, Dr. Montagne proved that even this complicated、mm-hmm. molecule, the information of this molecule,、uh, the water can memorize.、Yes. And Dr. Emoto is、uh, always saying that the water has a memory, basically. And uh, his uh, message from water,、uh, the important point is、uh, our emotion or our prayer or our thought can affect the water. Through、so、our vibration. Yeah, it's through vibration.、Mm-hmm. And so there is, maybe there is still some gap between,、yes. but uh, uh, Dr. Montagne's、uh, experiment is suggesting. That、uh, maybe not only the、uh, electromagnetic waves, but also the、uh, positive emotions or negative emotions m-、uh, might be memorized、mm-hmm. by just water.、Mm-hmm. So, in the future, I'm sure there、uh, can be a connection between the,、uh, Dr. Montagne's result and、uh, Dr. Emoto's、uh, work,、mm-hmm. which is not yet science at this moment.、Mm-hmm. I'd、oh, like to interview Dr. Montagne about it because the time I've, I've, I've interviewed him, but he was on the Lyme, his, his you know, Lyme disease. He did a lot of work on that too. Lyme yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, but it will be interesting to interview、uh, Professor Montagne on the water soon. Yeah. Yeah, because he's often、Please. in Paris. Yes. Yeah. And also, I may add something because uh, 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 in the year 1988, there was another scientist.、Uh, his name is Jack Van Benist. Uh, French scientist.、Mm-hmm. And、uh, actually, he's the one, maybe he uh, who uh, gave uh, uh, evidence、mm-hmm. that, uh, about the、uh, mm, memory of water.、Mm-hmm. And、uh, he published the, his work in Nature、yeah. in the year 1988.、Mm-hmm. And, but he passed away probably, I think, year 2004. Or no, yeah. two, and two, this, is, this is good that you're mentioning that because he passed away very quickly, and some people say that he was.、Uh, Some people didn't want him to be alive too long. Let's yeah, yeah. Some,、uh, some people are saying, yeah, yeah, I know. How, how about、uh, Dr. Zimoto's death? Was it a natural one?、Or? Oh, actually, the,、uh, about <laughs> Dr. Zimoto's passing away,、um, actually, last year,、uh, at the beginning of、um, September,、uh, Dr. Zimoto visited Shanghai, China, and I and Hiro. Hiro is the second son of Dr. Emoto, and now he's the president of our company. And two of us were with Dr. Emoto in Shanghai. And、uh, there was an、uh, event, and、uh, Dr. Emoto gave his presentation, like、uh, two hours or three hours.、Mm-hmm. And ne- next day, he got an interview, and also he finished the interview、uh, successfully. And actually, I think it was、uh, in the Night, you know, after he finished all the duties you know, in the Shanghai,、uh, almost at midnight,、um, he got、uh, difficulty in breathing.、Mm. And so he was taken to the nearby hospital in Shanghai. And、uh, 
the doctor found a lot of water in his lung, mm. and uh, even the you know, the doctor took out the the water from his doctor Emoto's lung mm -hmm. in a plastic bag, and doctor Emoto was you know holding this plastic bag, you know, and smiling. Mm -hmm. There is some photo of this, but anyway, mm -hmm. uh, he, Dr. Emoto uh, liked a joke very much. But anyway, uh, it was I think it was a very uh, difficult situation for him uh, physically. Mm -hmm. And uh, so then later on, maybe um, one week or ten days later, uh, we, uh, you know, um, Mrs. Emoto and Hiro decided to take him back to Japan. And so we asked a special uh, agent, um, uh, so the, some special doctor was with him, and he was taken on the plane to Tokyo. And he was, uh, he went into the hospital near his home, actually. And then uh, about uh, more than one month, he was in the hospital in Tokyo, Japan, uh, in Chiba, Japan. But anyway, uh, yeah, actually the, uh, because from um, mid-September to mid-October last year, uh, he was... 2014, yes. Yes, last year. Uh, he was supposed to go to his lecture tour in four countries in Europe. And uh, yeah, it was like uh, Germany, uh, UK, Italy, and Bulgaria. The final you know, event was the uh, water conference that I mentioned. But uh, he was in hospital, so he could, couldn't go to this tour. So I was you know, suddenly appointed as a, you know, on behalf of Dr. Emoto. I was asked to go mm -hmm. the one month tour. And so I, you know, I did my presentation on behalf of Dr. Emoto. And it was uh, like uh, 13 uh, occasions to give uh, my presentation. And then the final one was uh, this scientific conference. Uh, and then after that, I came back to the uh, Japan. I think it was uh, October 14th. Uh, and uh, then, you know, October 16th, uh, I went to Dr. Emoto's hospital and I wanted to uh, tell him uh, how the things were going on in my lecture tour, and especially the, he was worried about the response from scientists. Mm. Because was he able to talk? How was he communicating? I mean, was he... Almost, uh, he, he had uh, many tube, tubes through his mouth, so he couldn't say, you know, a lot, or just um, the breathing was also difficult for him. But anyway, I... Was he talk. writing, you know, maybe? Uh, I'm sure maybe the family member uh, got his writing, but uh, anyway, I spoke to him, and uh, especially the many scientists uh, really welcomed, you know, Dr. Emoto's research, and uh, you know, Dr. Polak was very uh, he uh, he you know evaluated Dr. Emoto's work very much, and so uh, when I finished my report to Dr. Emoto, like. I didn't know he was actually listening to my talk or not, but then Dr. Emoto said, really, literally, uh, thank you in Japanese mm. to, to me or to other family members. Mm. And uh, because uh, his throat or you know, his condition was very bad, so it was not a clear voice, but uh, uh, for us, you know, or he said, thank you in Japanese. Mm. We could understand. Mm. And then, after that, you know, at the moment, we thought that the Dr. Emoto was recovering and on the way to recover completely somehow. And so we were very happy to hear his word. But somehow, uh, at the midnight, you know, early uh, midnight next day, I mean, the, it was like a six hours after I met Dr. Emoto, uh, he suddenly passed away. So literally, the, his last word was thank you in yes. Japanese. Yes. But we, we were very sad because it was so sudden. Yes, yeah, yes, yes, yes. yeah. Yeah, but, but at the same time, it must have been a, a relief, I guess, and very important for him to be approved by scientists because yeah. he had this intuition, he had this vision, he had this was this artist, and, and he knew that there was something there, but might have not quite possibly put it in scientific terms, and hopefully this will be more and more proven and discovered in the, in the future years. Yeah, yeah. And also, the, uh, while he was alive, I, once I talked with him about this, you know, and uh, 
my opinion was that um, message from water is not yet a science, as I said. You know, there is no statistical analysis, no double blind. Actually, we did some uh, double blind, but uh, anyway, uh, the, for Dr. Emoto, it was not science. He uh, understand this also very well. And but uh, uh, just recently, as I said, last year or this year, some scientists, um, you know, approving or they are recognizing Dr. Emoto's work. And also the even as I mentioned, Dr. Montagnier or Dr. Polak's scientific work could be a basis for the Dr. Emoto's. Uh, work. Yes. And uh, because uh, uh, several years ago, what I talked with Dr. Emoto was uh, maybe the message from water is not yet a science, and so the, there could be a criticism, or this is not a scientific. But uh, our intention was uh, when some people, or, uh, when the young people, or uh, when the young scientists looked at the water crystal photograph, they may get, get uh, inspiration. I mean, oh, water can have a memory. I want to, you know, uh, pursue this possibility. Yes. Some scientists may think in this way, yes. you know. So to give uh, inspiration, not only to the general public, but also the an expert in science, this may be the role of message from water. Mm. And I believe that uh, uh, the conclusion, kind of conclusion or, or vision of Dr. Emoto was true which means uh, water can have a memory, you know, and if you give a bad word or bad emotion, then the water molecule, the structure is not good. But if you give uh, you know, gratitude, love and gratitude, then water molecule becomes very harmonious. This is Dr. Emoto's uh, conclusion, and he's a man of intuition. So I, I believe that he just saw the final, you know, conclusion or final vision. And uh, for the science, you know, for science, we need to go step by step, yes. you know, to have evidence step yeah. by step. But he was a man of intuition. Yeah. And in this sense, I believe Dr. Emoto was, you know, true. Uh, his uh, uh, conclusion, his message was true. But uh, for science, we need to uh, fill in up. the yes. gap. Yeah. This is another way, you know, there are two ways, maybe logical way and intuition intuitive way. But anyway, I believe it will go into the same uh, purpose. Same what are some, yes, thank you for all these explanations. I appreciate and I'm sure um, the beautiful co-creators watching this appreciate. But uh, last little question regarding like, uh, where are you heading with this? What, what's happening now that that he's not here anymore? Is there some specific projects that are happening or some things? Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you for <clears throat> you know this opportunity. And uh, one thing is uh, because uh, just coming July twentieth, uh, because uh, last year, uh, Doctor. You need to say two thousand fifteen then oh. or two thousand fourteen because the video stays online for a long time. So just mention the day. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yeah, actually the July twentieth uh, year two thousand fifteen, uh, we are planning to have. Uh, uh, international concert of love and gratitude for world peace in Tokyo, wow. and it's a uh, you know volunteer base. And but anyway, in Tokyo we we reserved very nice um, hall, and uh, uh, several musicians uh, they already agree to do performance for um, not only Dr. Emoto but for the world peace. And uh, uh, because uh, Dr. Emoto wanted to have um, a music event for World Peace, because he loves music, as you know. And uh, also, another idea is, uh, uh, this is uh, kind of my own idea, but uh, I want to make the one week from July 20th to July 26th uh, as a week of, international week of love and gratitude for World Peace. Mm. And July 20th is, uh, Mm, ocean, uh, no, day of ocean in Japan, mm. and it's a holiday. Mm. And it's uh, in this year, I mean, year 2015, it's a Monday, but it's a holiday in Japan. And uh, I maybe I, we will make a DVD of this whole event, and maybe we could make a live stream, you know, mm -hmm. with uh, many different area in the world. Maybe I come. Yeah, sure. <laughs> please, please come. <laughs> and also the uh, because uh, as I said, uh, the one week from July twentieth to July twenty sixth, which contains the day, you know, the day of ocean. It's a Japanese holiday, July twentieth, and also the 
July 22nd is Dr. Emoto's birthday.、Mm. Okay? And、uh, July 25th is a day out of time, if you know the 13 moon calendar.、Mm. July 25th. And we usually did、uh, our water、uh, ceremony on this day, July 25th,、mm-hmm. with Dr. Emoto you know, many, many times in the past. And also, the July 26th is a New Year day. According to the, this 13 moon, moon calendar. So, I would like to make this, you know, this one week,、uh, like an international、uh, week of love and gratitude for world peace or for planet Earth. That will be announced on the website. Yeah, yeah. And if it's possible, maybe United Nations or you know, some organization、uh, can you know,、uh, prove、mm. this you know, officially. Kind of. And this is、uh, to memorize, of course, the Dr. Emoto, but also the more important is.、Uh, I want to spread the philosophy of love and gratitude. You know, it's a, of course, it's、uh, made by Dr. Emoto, but、uh, I want to spread the message of love and gratitude to more and more people、uh, in the world.、Mm-hmm. And third one, may I mention just one more? And uh, uh, because uh, uh, last year in October,、uh, I visited Rome, Italy, and、uh, there, were, there is a group.、Uh, Called、uh, Circle of Light.、Uh, it's、uh, Italian people, and they, it's,、uh, they are also they have learned Gendai Reiki. It's a kind of a, a school of Reiki, you know, healing. But anyway,、uh, they are so wonderful people, and、uh, Rudy and Francesca are the two、uh, leaders of this group. And when I visited Rome, and then when I first met them,、mm-hmm. Uh, because I, I was on behalf of Dr. Emoto and I gave my presentation at their event in Rome. And uh, the, the, uh, the previous night I met、uh, the staff,、uh, Rudy and Francesca, and they gave me、um, their idea and they want to have a, a ceremony or an event or anything for Fukushima, you know, radioactivity, in the year 2016. Uh, probably May in the year 2016, because they said、uh, they want to do something、mm-hmm. for the Fukushima radiation、mm-hmm. or to you know, reduce or to eliminate.、Mm-hmm. And also, the Lynn McTaggart, you know, the, the author of the field, and we met、uh, several times.、Uh, and Lynn McTaggart was at the same event, and he gave a presentation also in Rome, Italy, last, last year. And uh, um, Rudy and Francesca said that、uh, Lynn McTaggart will come to Japan in May, year 2016. And so they want to have a、uh, you know, collaborative、uh, event、mm-hmm. in Japan, and they, they、uh, will come to Japan.、Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, it's uh, basically for Fukushima, of course. And I was really moved by their intention. You know, they are from Italy and they want to do something for Fukushima in Japan.、Mm-hmm. And I was really、uh, moved and I almost cried.、Yes. I cried actually. <laughs> and so I,、uh, I agreed or I, I said that、yeah. I would、uh, you know, do、yes. anything for、yes. them. And so the, my intention is、uh, maybe we ask the people, not only Jap- in Japan, but also all the people. To concentrate or to, any, to send a prayer,、yeah. simply like a love and gratitude, or in any way, you know,、yeah. to, to reduce or I would say to eliminate the completely、uh-huh. the radioactivity or, and also the pollution, any pol- pollution on this planet Earth、okay. completely.、Yeah. This, is my, uh, you know, it, this is their idea, and、uh, I don't know how they would express you know, this event. I just、uh, saying you know, from my Uh, our own or from my、uh, intention. And、uh, also, it's, this is my, completely my private、um, uh, idea. But、uh, next year, maybe we can ask the,、uh, the beings in the other dimension, I mean, in the higher dimension world, you know, the, or the other extraterrestrial、um, the people, or、uh, you know, the people under the ground. Well, anyway, the, those high, you know, high、uh, light beings I mean,、uh, in higher dimensions,、uh, we would like to ask them to amplify the intention of us, the humanity.、Mm-hmm. I mean, if we just ask them to purify the pollution, then if they did this, maybe this is a violation of the in, you know, free、uh, intention or, you know, of humanity. We cannot do that. But、uh, if 
we just basically, it's our intention mm -hmm. to cleanse all the pollution on this planet Earth. And then if they just amplify our intention. Maybe that's accepted, acceptable in this universe. I'm not sure, but anyway. Yeah, that's your personal, uh, yeah. yes. your personal uh, feeling. Yes. And maybe also that I want to do something for Fukushima you know, in my life yeah. this time, yeah. something. Yeah. And this is what I could do you know, in my, you know, uh, on my heart. Seems like you're going to be very busy the next years. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, I have just a personal question though, because I keep I'm noticing your ring. Oh. Tell us about that. Just, uh, just a last little personal thing because I, it's quite big, yeah. Huh? Oh yeah, yeah. This is actually the. So have a significance. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not a present from my, you know, I don't know, girlfriend or one on first ever, but actually the. Um, Last year, uh, December, uh, last year, December, uh, you know that. 2014. Oh, sorry, sorry. 2014, yes. uh, there is a city called Banda Ache at the north tip of Sumatra Island in Indonesia. Mm. You know, Banda Ache. And it's, uh, you know, the um, earthquake and the tsunami uh, of the Sumatra. Mm. Uh, Smatura. Yes. It happened 10 years ago. Mm. I mean, the, on the, uh, in December year 2014, mm -hmm. it was 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. So it, it was ten, there was a 10 year anniversary mm -hmm. of this tsunami disaster uh, in Banda Aceh. Banda Aceh got uh, the worst damage mm -hmm. uh, because of this tsunami. And uh, many people died, you know. And uh, so the, the mayor of this Banda Ache uh, invited originally Dr. Emoto to come to her city and to give a presentation about water. But at that time, Dr. Emoto passed away already. So uh, we asked her if you know, me, Nemoto, is okay uh, with you. And then she said it's okay. And so I was invited to the Banda Ache city and uh, I gave a presentation on behalf of, of Dr. Emoto. And uh, the staff, all the people, they were very happy to uh, hear or to have a communication or to, uh, to, meet, to have met me. Yeah. And uh, um, I got, uh, um, I, we became uh, friends with many people. Most of them were men. Anyway, and one of them, you know, man, man, and <laughs> man, <laughs> yeah, he has a lot of, you know, this, uh, you know, what, uh, ring, this kind of ring. And he asked me, if, you know, you want to, uh, some of them, I will give this as a present to you. Mm -hmm. And then this one is fit with my finger. So I chose this one. Mm -hmm. And since then, it's a kind of memory, yeah. you know, like uh, about uh, such wonderful people in Indonesia. Yeah. And so I have this ring. And also the, uh, on the last day, we had a water ceremony uh, of, you know, it's a Maraca, uh, I forgot the name, but uh, this um, Banda Ache city, uh, we went to the ocean uh, beach. And uh, there was uh, seven or eight uh, Indonesian people uh, with me and we prayed for the water. Uh, the prayer is, the water prayer is always the same. The, we did, uh, Dr. Emoto did, uh, read many times, it's a uh, water uh, forgive us, uh, water we are sorry, water forgive us, water we love you, water we thank you. Yeah. Kind of all hope and hope and hope. Yes, yes. Yeah, actually, the originally, oh, um, our, the water prayer was uh, water we love you, water we thank you, water we respect you. But uh, after Dr. Emoto met uh, Dr. Huren, mm -hmm. then Dr. Emoto combined the two different concepts into one water prayer. Yes. As, you, as you said, you are right. And then we are now using these four line prayers. And we did this prayer with the Indonesian people yes. to the ocean, where they got a lot of uh, big damage, you know, tsunami and many people died. And so I felt very good, you know, after this prayer. And it was uh, maybe one of the uh, memorable moments for me. And so this is a kind of memory yes. of this situation yes. or energy.
Yeah. Beautiful. Thank well, you. thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you for this delicious interview. I, and, I, and I'm glad we shared this moment too. I, we just found out that we were at the same event actually last uh, Sunday at the Mount Fuji. And this is why I flew into Japan for the Symphony of Peace Prayer for the Fuji Declaration. It was a beautiful event here for peace, like nearly 10,000 people and people li live streaming. And I want to thank again the Sayanji family for having put this together. And I'm sure there'll be many, many more. It'll be a delight to come back in July if we have the opportunity to do so. Yeah. I thank you very much for this interview and um, I thank the spirit of Dr. Yeah. Imoto yeah. since we're here right in front of in the office in front of the kind of like a, how would you say how would you call this like in memory of him yeah, yeah, yeah. yes so yeah. thank you so much you are welcome yeah. yeah I'm surprised that I heard that you attended the SOPP at the Fuji Sanctuary mm -hmm. by Byako Shinkokai uh, it was, uh, again, a big surprise. <laughs> My little kimono. Yes, yes. I clearly remember you on the stage, yeah. but I didn't recognize when you came yeah. to our office today. Yeah. But, uh, you know, you explained the situation. We were very happy. Yes, thank you. Thank you for... For this moment, and I thank you, my delicious co-creators, for looking at this video and for sharing it, of course, and for spreading this information. I send you so much love from beautiful Japan. I'll see you soon. Bye.